So uh, those DMARC reports will be start coming in within uh, the emails, the raw addresses that is included in the record. Uh, uh, so again, so receiving the reports, parsing it, and it parses it into four different sections. So first section being the DMARC compliant tab, and then we have non-compliant, threat, and forwarded. So what each section is, essentially the DMARC compliance section is the legitimate emails that have been configured. So you guys can see here under SPF, this is uh, Amazon is not passing, but it's passing only with DKIM. And again, DMARC requires only one of them, either one. But the best approach, best practice is to configure both of them if we have that option available. So uh, other sources are mostly configured uh, and some of them are partially uh, configured. And so non-compliant tab. Non-compliant tab is what our system detects as legitimate sources that have not been configured yet. Uh, so this is where we need to take action, uh, get these configured, configure the SPF, DKIM, whatever is possible and get it under DMARC compliant. Uh, so we can move on and start what we, what's called with the enforcement process. Uh, now the third tab here is the threat tab, which again our system detects these are as phishing attacks, uh, domain abuse attacks from other parties. And the last uh, section that we have is the forwarded section, which essentially is the auto-forwarded emails by your recipients.